हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स टुडे आई विल बी टेलिंग यू ऑल अबाउट डायनामिक कॉम्पैक्शन व्हिच इज एक्चुअली अ टाइम एफिशिएंट एंड लो कॉस्ट सोइल इंप्रूवमेंट टेक्निक एंड इट्स आल्सो वेरी इफेक्टिव एंड जनरली यूज्ड फॉर लिक्विफैक्शन मिटिगेशन पर्पसेस आल्सो इन लिक्विफाइबल ससेप्टिबल साइट्स Now, what is dynamic compaction? Dynamic compaction is a time-efficient and low-cost soil improvement technique that utilizes the power of high-energy impacts to compact weak soils. This technique is able to achieve deep ground densifications using the high impact forces generated generated by dropping heavy weights. The technique was invented and developed by Mr. Louis Menard. The type of soil where it is applicable. dynamic compaction is applicable preferably in any or all kind of granular soils that is it is very effective in ground improvement where granular soils non cohesive soils are present out there the technique is particularly utilized when dealing with loose medium to coarse grain sands with even having a slight percentage of silt or clay content as well it effectively enhances the soil to a depth of 10 meter but its influences can reach even up to 12 meter depth or beyond it is also very effective in both saturated soils below the existing ground water table level as well as in unsaturated soils <laughs> now what is the methodology what is the method the method consists of dropping weights ranging from 10 to 40 tons and even more based on the requirement of compaction desired at that very particular site site where this method has been is being adopted to improve the soil from a set height of say 10 to 30 meters or so these weights are usually made up of steel crawler cranes are used to pick up and release these weights multiple times these impacts produce vibrations that helps densification of soils at a deeper depth the arrangement of the impact points that is their grid pattern and spacing between them number of drops per location number of compactions etc at the site and other parameters of treatment depend on the characteristics of the soils and improvement required in order to support the design load requirements of the site structure within the specified settlement tolerances that is these are the points on which the ground improvement actually depends now the resultant implications it results in instant reduction of void ratio at the site that is point a point b can even result in sudden increase in pore water pressure in turn producing even partial temporary liquefaction however it is quickly followed up by dissipation of pore pressure and reorganization of the existing soil structure in order to achieve a denser configuration point b ho point b ho gaya ab point c results in reducing settlement now the applications where actually this method is applied on the sites it finds application as a very effective liquefaction mitigation technique it is useful even in improvement of long term performance of heavy structures like industrial warehouses ports airport platforms air strips roads and railways embankments large to very large storage tanks where this method of ground improvement is generally used because it is very effective and importantly more useful for achieving ground improvements because these are huge large infrastructure projects which have to be built very sincerely and very accurately in compacting backfill soils in improving landfill sites very effectively and this is also very use, useful and effective in preparing large flat platforms because of its high productivity so dear friends this is what i wish to explain you all in this video of mine hope you would have learned a little bit more about this ground improvement technique soil improvement technique keep on subscribing to my youtube channel geotechnical engineering consultancy tips thank you thank you very much